Hi, this is Squat, and in this video, I want to tell you about the lymphoid tissues. There are two types, primary lymphoid tissue, secondary lymphoid tissue. Primary ones are thymus and marrow. There are many secondary ones. Here are some of them. The primary lymphoid tissue make naive lymphocytes, so T cells and B cells. The thymus makes the naive T cells and the marrow makes the naive B cells. And these secondary lymphoid tissues will go on a journey throughout the body, stopping at secondary lymphoid tissues. And at each of the uh, secondary lymphoid tissue, you have T cell center and then B cell center where naive T cells and naive B cells stay for about 10 days before moving on to the next secondary lymphoid tissue. Although the naive T cells and B cells grow in thymus and marrow, marrow initially makes the hematopoietic stem cell which will end up in thymus or stay in the marrow and then commit to being the T cell, stem cell, and B cell, stem cell. Marrow is the source of this stem cell. After the second trimester and before that, it's the liver that makes the stem cells. Although thymus peaks in size, at about six months old, but a body can continuously make naive T cells up to at least 40 years old. Finally, the location of these secondary lymphoid tissues are near common infection sites like upper respiratory tract, uh, skin, gut and uh, blood. This is nice because uh, innate immune cells can quickly report problem to the adaptive immune system and uh, a large number of uh, clones can be developed at these secondary lymphoid tissues.